Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome to episode 2 of How to Edit Videos. In this episode we're going to be talking about preparing and storing and organizing all the different footage that you're going to have before we start working. So we're going to be talking about memory cards, hard drives, and a little bit about how we actually create the footage and the file size. So what I have here is an SD card. It's the memory card that most modern cameras take and they come in 8, 16, 32, 64, even 132 gigabyte formats for you to insert into your camera and then whenever you start shooting everything that you record gets loaded onto that memory card and you can pop it out and put it into your computer and transfer your files. Now a laptop like this might only have about 256 gigabytes of actual hard drive storage which is really not that much, especially if you're talking about storing video, you can pile up the megabytes and the gigabytes very quickly if you're doing recording every day or if you're recording a lot of different clips. And you're definitely not gonna be able to keep them all on your hard drive for long. So before we even start editing and doing all that, we should have a system in place to organize your clips. Now there isn't really one best or correct way to organize your footage. I'm just saying that we should consider a system before we start. The same way that everyone probably organizes their desk or folders or drawers a bit differently is the same way that everyone will probably end up organizing their clips a bit differently, but it all depends on how you like to work. So first and foremost, you're gonna need some sort of external hard drive. Now this is a pretty standard average. This is a two terabyte WD hard drive. And it's worked well for me. I pretty much, when I first started compiling a lot of clips, was able to take everything, dump it on this, so that this laptop did not get filled up and I could continue using it. Now there's faster options out there, like SSD drives, which, which basically are built for faster reading and writing performance, so dragging clips on and off and working with them. However, this works pretty fine for me, and. One day I might upgrade and try those out. For example, I've got this two terabyte just about filled up, so eventually I might need to get another one or two and just keep going as you keep living and recording video. And then you could organize them in different ways that you prefer. So I could put 2007 to 2010 on here, and then the next one I'll put 2011 to 2013. That way you somewhat know where all the clips come from. But if you wanna get even more organized, you could alphabetize things, you could do it by exact date. That's all up to you. I don't get that picky and organized. But let's run through a good typical example workflow. So let's say we just popped the memory card out of the camera, we've got some fresh footage on here. Now what happens is you should be able to see the SD card pop up in your directory or your computer's desktop and you should be able to access the files inside. So depending on your camera's make and model, things will probably already be named a certain way like image underscore 3112. So if I shot a bunch of clips regarding one video, I'll create a new folder with the title of that video. So for example, this one will be called how to edit episode two. I'll drag all the clips that I recorded for that video into that folder. And then I like to take that folder and put it in the organized spot on the external hard drive. You don't want to be stockpiling them on the actual computer's hard drive because it'll fill up much too quickly. So to skip the most steps, just have this plugged in already, whatever your external is, your SSD, and immediately drag the files from the memory card onto the external. Then you can unplug the memory card, take it out once you're done transferring the files over to the external, because if you want, you can clean up the memory card and you're not gonna be able to keep everything on a 16 or 32 gigabyte forever. You're eventually gonna have to erase it and you wanna make sure they're stored on here. And then you can begin editing your projects off of the external and everything is nice and organized for you. Now do keep in mind in programs like Premiere, the footage will go offline if you unplug this and this is the only place that the footage is at. If you open your project again, it'll say footage is offline, where is it? And you can plug this back in and relink it. So. That's one way you could work. You'll just have this plugged in the whole time and create the whole project and export your final video. That way you can have it. But eventually you wanna move everything off your desktop onto something like this so you don't get clogged up. So the alternative and something that I sometimes end up doing anyway is 
dragging everything from the memory card onto the desktop, editing the video, getting the final project, and then taking all those files, dumping them on here once I've uploaded, and deleting them off that hard drive. So if you're just starting out, you can make do with one memory card, one hard drive, or maybe you could even get by on your internal hard drive for a little bit. But eventually you're gonna want a few memory cards and at least a terabyte or so, so that you don't have to worry about buying storage every three months. And if you have more than one camera, I would recommend getting more than one memory card. Your life is gonna be much easier and you're not gonna have to worry about transferring every so often because you're bottlenecked by the amount of space in your memory card. So that's how I do it, just by year and by video name. But you can go much, much more organized than me. That's not even the most organized. And what I've truly found is that you find your method of organization as you make 100 videos. You'll understand how you personally work and you'll start to understand how you want to organize things and how you go back to footage. So now that we've thought about preparing and organizing our footage and we've got it on the desktop, in the next episodes we're going to go ahead and start working with the footage. So subscribe to the channel if you're not to stay tuned for future episodes. Leave a like below if you guys are liking this series and let me know in the comments what type of questions or organization tips that you found work for yourself. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.